For this module, I'm going to be discussing the tympanic membrane within the middle ear. The middle ear is a point where acoustic waves are turned into mechanical energy, and it also is a place where equalization takes place between the external auditory canal and the middle ear. This equalization process is incredibly important as it avoids or aids to avoid ruptures and perforations of the tympanic membrane. Um, additionally, uh, problems there can lead to ossicular discontinuity, which may have an impact on the impedance mismatch process, which is the compensatory process by which energy is recovered that is lost between the different mediums and matters of the ear. The tympanic membrane is a cone shape, um, which adds to the loudspeaker effect, um, and it's concave between the external auditory canal and the middle ear. It has three primary layers, the outer layer, which is continuous with the meatus of the um, external auditory canal, it's covered in an epidermis, the middle layer, um, which is connective tissue with elastic properties, aiding in mobility, and the inner layer, which is a mucous membrane, um, continuous with the rest of the middle ear. Um, the tympanic membrane is the first mobile link in the audition process, um, and the tympani tensor is a muscle which pulls the tympanic membrane anteriorly and medially, um, then putting the ossicles into motion, um, aiding in this mechanical energy transduction process. You can see that the tympanic membrane um, is a round surface. It's highly vascular, um, and it also has nerves running near to it, which means that it's sensitive to pain um, and to insults. Some common disorders are perforations and otitis media. A perforated tympanic membrane may be due to barotrauma, um, pressure from blowing your nose, or from punctures um, caused by foreign objects entering the ear. Um, treatment may be as simple as time, allowing for spontaneous healing, um, or for autoplasties, which uses a graft from a patient's leg, the fatty area of the leg, onto the tympanic membrane. It's important to note that scar tissue can harden um, and impede the mobility process of the tympanic membrane, causing a conductive healing loss at some level. More commonly is otitis media. Um, this is a condition of the infected tympanic membrane. Um, it can happen at any point in the lifespan, but it is common in childhood. That's because the eustachian tube's orientation doesn't really aid for drainage at that level. Um, whereas when you're older, the orientation changes a bit um, and drainage becomes more easy. Um, classifications differ according to the fluid type um, and the duration of the infection. Um, and it can cause to structural damage and underlying area, neurological disorders, or language and speech disorders and delays. Um, typical treatment um, may first consider antibiotic use. It's very targeted and acute, and possibly um, that could be the only step taken in treatment. Um, if it's chronic enough, an ENT may elect for a meringotomy, um, which is a surgical procedure which um, puts PE tubes into the air, um, into the space, which would aid in this um, drainage process. The tympanic membrane is highly important, and it's important to keep it healthy um, and to maintain a close eye on it, um, especially in childhood, as it may lead to um, language and speech disorders. Okay.